hello everyone and welcome back to Lazy Low Collectibles and welcome back to a brand new video and this week on the turntable we have another Corgi Toys so after the turntable I would like to welcome everyone to the channel and uh, thank you for sticking with me uh, welcome to the new subscribers new watchers and welcome to the old uh, friends of the channel so this is gonna be my restoration I don't know what I'm gonna do with this uh, that is really ruse. I have another one with a police a livery. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might just uh, fill that in and make it as a normal van. But I need to find out why it's so loose. That's possibly that pin in there. So I will drill this um, apart. So this is a Comer 3 quarter ton chassis from Corgi Toys. We have a, an interior, you can see the red one there, that's the paper thin interior. And uh, we'll see how does it look inside. I can remove, I think, the um, hubs, possibly that's the um, smaller mushroom. So I will take this apart and we will see uh, what we deal with today. Okay, so um, I drill that out. So let's see, we got a pin two pins actually there uh, which goes into that two pin on the front as you can see um, we got the interior turned that's pretty bad actually but if I will heat this up a little bit and I will repaint this clean it repaint it then it should be all right uh, yeah, you see, it's a, it should sit there, and uh, if we clean the windscreen, then uh, it will be visible. But we'll see what we can do with this. I will try to heat up a little bit and uh, bend it back. We got this bit here, which is, I believe, is the pin holds the chassis into position so you can't get off and if you take that out this comes off we have the windscreen here and i think you know what that's that's the beacon in there that's why that's why that um is not coming out That's the chassis itself, which could possibly go as just a normal, to be honest with you, just a normal uh, low loader or a flatbed. Could go like this. But um, we're going to put this back on. I don't think the windscreen is riveted in or anything else. Look at the dirt. No idea what that is. So we will remove the um, windscreen. I have this flat uh, tool, which I normally use to take the um, windscreens off. But this one seems to be sticking in very well. So let me try to put, uh, yeah. I don't want to push that out too much because look, that might just break. And obviously we don't want the windscreen to be cracked more than it is already. So I have to get this out somehow. I might just put into hot water for a minute. And uh, in my the other windscreen is riveted in, so I need to drill that. But it seems to be in a good order. So I will drill Yeah, that. this one come out easy. I just uh, drill that and this dropped out easy. So that's good. That's the chassis itself. I love these commas. They're beautiful. So this I will put into a little bit hot water and see if um, gives it, this gives in. It's pretty solid in. 
and uh, yeah we don't want to crack that so I will do that well, no, if no. you remove this for the first time I have to warn you that there is an edge in there there is a an edge there and two two um, edges there so when you pop this in they actually hook in so I had to press this in as you can see I tried to remove it here I had to press this in and then lever it out so this was a bit difficult I might just remove these and I will glue this in rather than having these pins we'll see what I can do with them if uh, I cannot I will leave them this is broken but I don't mind really I think I'm not going to put the um, beacon back I will uh, uh, fill that in oh, that just went in again I will fill that in and it's just I think I'll change the um, scene uh, the theme of this of this uh, uh, van it's just gonna be um, a different kind of van so I will clean these as well I need to work on the um, interior and I will remove the wheels and I will clean that up as well So almost assembly time let's see what we done uh, before we put this together I uh, put the wheels in and I uh, painted the chassis gray um, there's some issue with this clear coat I have it's not shiny at all but uh, it's easy to handle it's not sticky anymore but it's not shiny um, same as you can see on the chassis it's absolutely not shiny so it's not very nice but to be honest with you I didn't care because I like this car so much I think it looks really good um, put the stickers 
uh, emergency call 911 and old police um, logos I think those are from the 60s and this is the um, panel I also put uh, dial emergency 911 and I put this um, police department city of New York and I also put the um, windscreen in and uh, the beacon I glued them in just in case you can't see I put the um, craft glue which is uh, non-visible and I also glued the um, glass in so what I'm gonna do is um, I will I will glue that on the chassis because there's only a little small uh, I'll bring the panel in a minute so I've got uh, this little panel which goes on on the um, panel so I will show you that uh, that's the um, interior if you remember it was bent um, I'll find another one so I'll keep that one as a spare so what I need to do is uh, this needs to come in so that will stay there and when I put this on I will put a little bit I'll put a little bit glue there and I will put a little bit glue there as well but um, I need to put the glue first so I will put this together and we go on the turntable so I've got the interior in I've got some craft glue in there and I put that little panel in and I'll put a little bit glue here as well just in case to be on the safe side and then I'm gonna add some glue here because I didn't drill this one uh, it's not deep enough so I will slide these in here to the front and then the back slides in it's actually clicks in so it's pretty good and I'll put a little bit glue and that's it so we go on the turntable when it dries this is it before restoration I think originally this was an, um, an ambulance and uh, instead of making it as a simple everyday van, I had an idea to make it as a New York City Police Department um, furgon van, and I think um, it turned out beautiful. Um, I hope you liked the car on the turntable. I'm sorry about the, the turntable. I did order a new one. This one doesn't go around even 20 seconds. Um, so anyway, um, my NYPD... Um, I mean NYC PD van is now complete. I love the um, decals, emergency dial 911. And this is Police Department City of New York. And these are old stickers. They are like 60 years old. So I'm loving this one. I think it turned out to be a beautiful uh, piece of um, die cast by Corgi Toys. Um, if you did like this one guys, please give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet And please uh, leave comments down below. What do you think of this restoration of or my other jobs? I love this one. I think it's fantastic. I love the decals and uh, It's a nice roller And I'm, I'm in loving with this one. So I will keep this one definitely um, I love it and I hope you liked it have a nice Friday, guys. Enjoy your evening. Have a great Friday. Don't forget to come back to Leslie Low Collectibles next week, where I will have my uh, die restorations without the video. I think it's going to be video number seven. So enjoy your days, guys. Take care and bye-bye uh, now.